going to be giving you a tour of our van. We've been in it for a month now. And um, yeah, so it's an Easy Trail Sejuna 15. Um, yeah, come on in. So we'll start over here at the end. Come was playing. So we've got a nice big king bed, which has been absolutely lovely because this is where he sleeps as well with us. Um, and it's got some storage under the bed. A lot of it is like batteries and that sort of stuff. So there's not a huge amount of space under there, but there's a little bit. Um, and above the bed, we've got lots of um, storage, heaps of storage. So clothes are in there, those two. We've got some lights above the bed, which are great for reading. Um, USB sockets for like phone chargers, that sort of stuff. There's also some um, actual wall plugs over here behind the TV. I don't know if you can get in there. And we've got a TV as well. Not that we've used it. Um, and behind the TV, again, there's more USB sockets and the um, radio system or the speaker system. So there's speakers throughout. We haven't used that yet either. Um, over here, we've got like pantry stuff, um, heaps of storage. Like we were actually really surprised with how much storage it has. We've got a swivel out table, which has been great. Um, and some more storage under here where we keep like the vacuum, water bottles, um, shoes, that stuff, like toilet paper, that sort of stuff. So yeah. Then here we have some more storage. There's another PowerPoint up here. So we leave like all Michael's camera charging stuff up here and the toaster because we use that a fair bit. Then under this one is where we have our tanks, so our front and our rear. It tells us how much we have. It tells us our volt meter and our grey water tank. Um, and then we have our um, power station, I guess you could call it. Um, and then also down here, I'll quickly go while we're on that. Down here we have our hot water, so that just needs to be turned on and off. Um, and then this tells us how much the batteries have in them. So super handy. Yeah. Um, then in here we just have Michael's clothes, nothing too exciting. And down here we have like the mains. Um, when we're hooked up to power at a caravan park, these need to be on. Now we have the kitchen. So we have a little sink in here. To be honest, we don't really use this kitchen too much. We like to use outside. We use this for like um, rainy days or early mornings. So we've got the two gas burners. We mainly boil hot water on these. Um, that's about it really. Then we have um, like cutlery drawers, nothing too exciting. Colours, food drawer, probably the most important thing. And then some more um, storage under there. Um, these are king bunks, which have been like huge. They're huge, they're really good. But um, again, Cole has not been sleeping on it. So we've just used it as like Michael's camera storage. Um, we've also put like the stuff for the awning in here. Um, and then down here is just like all Coa's stuff. So there's like toys up the back. There's a bathtub. There's heaps of storage room. Then in here we have Coa's clothes and my clothes. Again, really big drawers. Um, yeah, really helpful. Um, they come with little curtains. And each end has a window and a light at each end and a socket just at this one end. So, yeah, again, really helpful. Now we've got our bathroom. I'll go in. Um, so we have the sink, obviously. A little bit of underground storage there. We use our, like, keep that for our blue loo and the stuff that goes in the toilet. Um, toilet. Pretty self-explanatory. This is where you do your business. Um, then over here we have a shower head. Same sort of stuff. Pretty, pretty simple stuff. Um, we have found a squeegee really helpful, obviously, because when you're showering, the toilet does get wet a little bit. So using the squeegee to just like squeegee everything down has been wonderful. And then in here, more storage for our shower stuff. So. Um, and it's got a fan and a little hole that you can open up so that it doesn't get too steamy. Um, I think that's about it. Oh, we have aircon. That's been super handy, especially when we're in like um, broom and stuff. We basically ran it majority of the time. It was so hot. Um, we miss it. <laughs> and then we have above you is the beautiful 
skylight and it's got lights up there um, and you can open that and then you got your shutter and your fly screen so yeah and all the windows come with the shutters and the so if you have a look here you push down pull down for fly screen and pull up for blackout so and it can get really dark in here like we found that so helpful with Cole's naps you can put the like blackouts out and it's like pitch black in here so I think that's everything oh um the main light switches are just on this door here um for your interior your outdoor and your surrounding and your kitchen yeah I think that's it <laughs> Dometic fridge in here. I think it's a 75 litre. Dometic do different sizing to angle. Pretty sure it's 75 litre. Anderson plug under there to power this off grid. There's also a mains power as well um, in there. Toolboxes at the front. Gas bottle on this side, spare gas bottle on the other, and the middle one's just storage. Nothing too interesting in there. Got a little drop down table, which I always used to think they were kind of pointless because they're just small and annoying, but really it's actually come in pretty handy on this trip. Beyond that, we've got a little um, 12 volt socket outlet, there's USB ports and a, um, cigarette, a lighter. cigarette lighter port. This is our little outside pantry. We just keep pantry items in there, pots, pans, paper towel, that kind of thing. On this side we have the pull-out kitchen. Where we have four burner stove top, draw for utensils, draw for whatever, plates, chopping boards, whatever. Um, Connect the gas up to the bayonet point just under there. Nothing too interesting there, really. It's around this side. Oh, this is obviously the expandable thing. Let's just ignore that bit because that glue's come off. It's our bed area. It's a hot water system under there. As I mentioned, the two. 120 litre water tanks. Um, it's our waste cassette in there. There's just more storage under here. This is where we keep the hoses and uh, power leads and junk really, whatever else. And on this one, there's another slide on this one where <coughs> the Weber's kept. But we haven't really used it on this trip anyway. Maybe once or twice, yeah. Um, yeah. That's really it. There's nothing else really going on on the outside.
probably like talking on dislikes. This and is likes. The, the biggest <laughs> con of this whole band has just been like it's made us realise that um, we'd like more space. Mm. Definitely. Especially if we have another bub, that means more stuff to bring. At and... the moment, it's like perfect for us. But as soon as he's crawling, we will not. It will not be perfect for us. But then he'll be, like when he's crawling and walking, he'll be outside a lot more. Yeah, true, yeah. I, I'd say definitely for two, like, I don't think you could have two babies in here or two young children in here. Um, it would be chaotic. Mm. Um, but otherwise, we love the van. Um, so we're just yeah, renting great. this um, just to get a taste of all the different sorts of vans that, there are, that are out there because there's so many. Um, yeah, we thought we'd rent a couple and... See which ones we like before we buy something. And this is the first one we've rented, so... Um, yeah, so far it was... At the time of this, it was $90 a day, plus a booking fee through Camplify. So I think it ended up cost... For, for a month, it was like 3800 mm. with the booking fee on top. But at the moment, especially with work and Bob, like, it's not like we're going to be caravanning all the time, unfortunately. So to spend four grand for a month to rent this or three grand, it's beneficial in the long run because like you don't want to buy a sixty thousand dollar van and be like this isn't go, oh, for us. Wish we like, had a bit more room, eh? Um, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Especially so, with this one, yeah, I don't don't know if we would. Yeah, I don't know. I think trialing trialing them is definitely a big, huge like a huge benefit because, benefit. like, yeah, you just you. Feel what you need and what you don't need like both our parents have caravans they both have kitchens on the inside and nine times out of ten they cook outside mm. so it's been good to have the kitchen inside and the kitchen outside because we can see which one we'd use more and like when we buy a van that's something we'll definitely look at we want a kitchen inside and outside um, and even though the storage has been great it's more just like moving around it like if two of us are in here moving around and this tight. table's like push all the way up into the chair, we still have to go, you know, like, oh, to get around. So that's really it. Beyond that, it's been Great. Good. Um, the only other thing is, obviously, because the back expands out, um, it loses a lot of storage. Like, a lot of the other vans have storage on the outside of the van. Um, we don't have that, so it does mean that when you're packing away, you bring things in. But other than that, like, it's, it's quick and easy to set up. Like, I think you'll see a video of me setting it up by myself, it's so easy to do. Um, the only thing I have issue with is my height. But um, bathrooms, nice and big. Actually, really like com comparing it to our parents' vans. Yeah, the bathroom. Because the toilet and the the shower is separate. Um, with this being all in one, you, there's actually a lot of room. <laughs> like we've actually showered together. Don't tell our parents. Matching with Daddy. Hello. Oh, we are matching. You're very dribbly. Very tired. Yeah, so we've been sharing him in there and it's been great for that. And the king bed, like not many caravans have king beds. King bed has been amazing, hasn't it? Yeah. Been great. Um, yeah. <laughs> One of the things that... I, I don't think I've even mentioned this to you, but when you turn on the lights, like the interior lights, every single oh, light yeah. comes on. <laughs> it's just like, ah! Oh. It's very... It's, it's hard. Like if you're trying to do something at night time and you've got... A baby. Well, I've been doing a little sleeping. bit of work here at night and it's just I've got to turn nothing. on we've got to turn on the little ones and just use like a just that kind of light. Because it's like it's just everything just bang. It seems like we're being really negative, but it the caravan is incredible. It's lovely. But yeah, like we're gonna give our honest opinion. Um Yeah, we've paid for this with our own money. <laughs> yeah. But um so. Yeah. It's been great otherwise. Off grid, I think. Now we haven't looked into the options for the Easy Trail vans, but there are a bank of AGM batteries under there, and they AGM batteries just don't last that long. So if there's an option to go lithium, I'd definitely go lithium because we did off grid on the way up for two nights. Yeah, three, two. Or two no. nights, and then the battery was way way down like we wouldn't be able to survive another night like the fridge would probably end up turning off so we had to go into a caravan park so if there's an option for lithium definitely go that because then you'll be able to last longer off grid um Ooh, hello. but yeah plug it into power they recharge up nice and easy and we can do we did one night the other night on the way coming back home and it was it was fine 
Yeah. Yeah. I think also the other thing um, that we would really need in a caravan is an indoor fridge. Outdoor fridge is a pain for well, us. It's just started to rain. Like, yeah. as we're getting further south, it's just starting to rain a bit more. So, going outside to the fridge while it's raining is a bit... I mean, we haven't set the awning out because we're only here for an overnighter, so... Oh, well, well. Um, if the awning was out, it'd be fine. Um, but, yeah. Inside fridge. Handy. Yeah. For the rainy days, anyway. But beyond that, most of the time we're out of the van anyway, so... Yeah. <clears throat> cool. Alrighty. Peace. Bye. Thanks for watching. Hey, bye. Like and subscribe. Yeah. Please. Please. <laughs> Love us. <laughs>